Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Jay Carter Ray from GrowOnYouTube.com teaching you how to be better. And in this video, I am going to be sharing nine solo hiding spots and 10 angles on the Oregon map in Rainbow Six Siege. Now I was supposed to do 10 solo hiding spots, but unfortunately I miscounted when I recorded the hiding spot. So now we've got nine. So <laughs> be sure to stay tuned. That is coming right up. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. Now, the first hiding spot that I've got for you guys is in the dining hall on the first floor. Now, what you need to do is get your grenade out, blow up the chair on the left, and you'll be able to crawl up into the corner on the left. And this is a very, very dark corner. So most people coming into this room probably won't notice you. There we go. There we are in the corner. So from here, you have an angle to the door right in front of you and you have an angle on the door on the right now the door on the right probably isn't the best place for you to try and cover because anyone coming from the left will be able to murder you real easily if they see where you're at but you can catch anyone running in through the door on the right who is not paying attention pretty easily up next, we had another hiding spot in the dining hall over here near these chairs and tables. So once you beat up all the chairs, you're able to get under the table and you can pretty much shoot anyone who comes into your line of sight. I wouldn't use this angle to try and hold uh, an angle on an entrance or anything like that you can't actually shoot through these tables which is very weird because i've been shot through a couch before and i would have thought these little tables would have been easy to shoot through but apparently you cannot so this provides you cover on two ends and I would suggest just waiting in cover until someone actually comes around into your eyesight or into your sight line so that you can shoot them instead of giving away your position and trying to hold an angle on a door or something like that. Next hiding spot is in the classroom. This is also on the first floor. Now you'll need an impact grenade and all you gotta do is throw it at the chair under the table and you'll be able to crawl under there. And then you'll have two angles or three angles really. You'll have the door in front of you, the door to your right, and you'll have the window to your left. Now the window to your left is what I'd suggest keeping your eye on. I would suggest having someone else in the room to cover the door that is straight in front of you and you can pretty much cover the door, uh, the window to your left pretty well if anyone tries to come through there. The next hiding spot is a pretty easy one. It is in the dining room. Kill. So the next hiding spot is still in the classroom and you'll have to melee these chairs in this pile of chairs a little bit further down nearer to the door at the end of the classroom. And once you get under these chairs, the chairs on top will obstruct the vision of you. So it'll be easy for you to hide under these chairs and you'll have a clear angle on the door on the right of the room. So if you hole up in this room with a buddy, one of you can protect the door on the right and one of you can protect the door straight ahead and the window on the left. And that's the classroom lockdown. So the next hiding spot is still on the first floor and this is in the office. You're gonna need an impact grenade to get rid of the stuff in the corner and then you can lie, lay prone in this dark corner and it'll be really hard for people to see you. In front, you have the exit that people may try to bust in through and on the right you can get a nice angle on a window which is very hard to shoot back through and you may be able to get some shots up through the uh, cracks up above you but I wouldn't suggest going for that I'd suggest just you know being silent and holding it out if it comes to that the next 
hiding spot is also in the office and you'll need an impact grenade to get rid of the chair under this desk and then you'll be able to crawl under this desk and you'll have a pretty good line of sight on the door in front of you. Most people running in here won't expect you to be under the desk. I wouldn't suggest coming out here and trying to attack that door as that could lead to some pretty uh, terrible deaths and I think you'll be really easy to see there. But straight ahead, if you wanna hold this angle, that'll be a pretty cool angle for you to hold because if someone's running in there, you're probably gonna see them before they see you. The next hiding spot we have is in the meeting hall on the first floor again. And this is best to do with a shotgun if you have one. As you can see, I went through a bunch of clips to get rid of this chair. But what you really want to do is you want to get rid of the back of the chair and then you can come to the side of this chair and you can climb up on it from the side and then you'll be able to actually get in that little cupboard there. So as you see, I just vaulted over the uh, railing and then you can get in prone after you get rid of these shelves and then you can get in that cupboard and you can find yourself in a pretty advantageous position. Let's get in there. <laughs> you will have to get rid of all the little uh, pieces of um, I forgot what it's called, not a shrapnel, but you know what I mean. All the pieces of wood. And then when you're in here, you will have a view of the stage, basically. You have a nice view of the stage. If anyone tries to run around either end of the stage or if they try to run around the left of the stage as that's where you can cover best, then you'll be able to get a nice, easy, fresh kill. Next hiding spot is also in the meeting hall, but this is actually up on the stage and it's in this corner back here. This is a very dark corner where people won't really expect you to be hiding. So you can get yourself a pretty nice amount of kills here. If people don't have their brightness turned up or anything like that, they probably won't be able to see you and you can get some nice kills. If you get your legs in the actual box, then you'll be much less visible and you can shoot around the left side of the stage and, and get rid of those guys coming in. Now, the last hiding spot we have in this video is actually in the watchtower on the second floor. If you climb up to the third floor, you can actually jump over onto this beam and you can stay on this beam. You can walk over to the wall and then you will actually have a view of that window on the left, that window on the right, and you'll also be able to shoot anyone coming through um, up there on the right. Uh, you won't really have that much of a sight on the left, but you'll be able to shoot anyone coming through the window on the right upstairs, downstairs, and on the left. Next up, we have the first angle, and this is in the meeting hall right behind the podium on the stage. You can actually get a disgusting angle on the left of the podium. You can cover pretty much a little sliver of what's going on on the left. And if you come over to the right, you can cover over there also. You can cover uh, anyone coming through the left-hand side and you can get a few nice cheeky kills right here if anyone tries to rush the meeting hall. The next angle is above the meeting hall in the attic. It's best to bring a shotgun, a breach charge, or even an impact grenade. And what you wanna do is you wanna throw your grenade over here and you'll be able to get a insight into the meeting hall right behind the podium. If anyone's trying to hide over there, you got them. You got them and you'll be able to shoot them and get involved pretty nicely. Next slimy angle is in the laundry room and you will need a shield to pull this off. If you pick up your shield and put it right here next to the bomb, you'll be able to vault over and then if you beat up this little basket, you'll be able to get over here and go prone or you can stand up, but you'll be able to get a nice shot over onto the stairs if anyone's trying to run down those stairs. 
you'll be able to get a lovely angle on those guys and then you can also go prone and get a nice angle down this hallway the supply room hallway so yeah definitely try that out this next angle is a lovely sweaty angle you'll need an impact grenade for this in order to get rid of that box on the bed and then you'll be able to crawl up on the bed and get a lovely angle on this window now if anyone tries to breach in or come in through that window bam that person's gone <laughs> that person's gone they won't be able to shoot you through that little a uh, peak hole but you can definitely get them and that will sort them out really nice so the next angle is based in meeting hall again and as you can see this is just on the right of the podium as i showed you earlier in my hiding spots but if we look a little bit over to the right there is another really really small angle that you can use in order to get some shots on people coming from the right hand side obviously you'd want to use your ACOG site with this and you probably won't be getting any headshots but very useful angle indeed now this angle is quite brilliant this is based in the bathroom of the first floor now if you shoot through that pipe or shoot through that little uh, part of the pipe like inside you'll be able to get a nice angle on the door in I believe that's the dining room we will we will uh, uh, double check that but you're able to get a beautiful angle from back here most people who are coming through that door are not going to see you at all so you'll be able to get some easy easy kills and as you can see, that hole basically leads back through to the dining hall. And this is where you'll be shooting. Now, the next angle is in the basement, in the bunker entrance. And it is right over here next to this little generator. And if you just go prone and get this lovely tight angle, you'll be able to kill anyone that comes through this door. They won't have a chance at shooting you. Look at how small that angle is. They won't have a chance. So pretty much a guaranteed kill if you set up right here and keep watch on that door. This next angle is back in the laundry room. If you just get right back up near here and you can move to the right a little bit and get a really really nice tight angle to shoot anyone who's trying to come down those stairs and trying to come to this room so there's angle number i think this is eight right i'm not 100 sure <laughs> but there's that angle now this next angle is beautiful i believe this is angle number nine this will be the last angle i know i told you i thought there was supposed to be 10 angles and uh nine hiding spots but unfortunately that is not the case we've got nine of each but what you want to do is get out your pistol and shoot little holes so that you can see if your enemy is coming down the stairs or coming towards you and your enemy won't be able to see those small little holes they generally won't notice it so you'll be able to kill anyone coming down the stairs pretty easily if you've got ACOG sight and you can look through uh, these little holes because you've got pretty good clear sight onto the stairs now i hope this video helped you out for more tips on how to get better at rainbow six siege check out my rainbow six siege tips playlist and subscribe be sure to join my discord channel where you can play games with me find other people to squad up in rainbow six with and more the link is in the description thanks for watching and liking and subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next video it's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long all this warmth I share with you